and welcome. Marhaban, assalamu alaikum. Wa halen, wa salen, we can feel no dhamma. Shukra, gazilan. My name is Usha Saba, and it is my pleasure to welcome and to welcome you all and open the first international conference of the International Police Science Association, which, is, which was founded and is led by Dr. Mandu Abdullah, whom I shall introduce you to shortly. Many of you know who he is, but for our American participants. I wish all of our participants from Egypt, Iraq, Libya, the United Arab Emirates, and Kuwait a safe and enjoyable stay in Los Angeles. I would also like to acknowledge the gracious um, efforts of the Los Angeles Police Department, which is co-sponsoring this conference and offering support in the common mission that unites us all, the safety and security of the communities we serve. Although the languages and cultures may differ, this conference will surely illustrate the one truth that the basic tenets of law enforcement are the same no matter where you are in the world and we must always continue to strive to learn from one another. Deputy Chief Michael Downing is the commanding officer of the Los Angeles Police Department's Counterterrorism and Special Operations Bureau, which includes five operational um, divisions that collectively offer some of the most robust and professional intelligence, tactical, investigative, and counterterrorism capabilities in the country. Deputy Chief Downing has been key to building these capabilities thoughtfully and strategically over time. His participation in national and international law enforcement efforts have advanced um, police practices in the area, areas of counterterrorism, criminal intelligence, and countering violent extremism, a topic you will discuss later in the program. Please welcome Deputy Chief Downing. Thank you. Good morning. Assalamu alaikum to all of you. Welcome to Los Angeles. Uh, on behalf of Los Angeles Police Department, uh, it's really our honor uh, to host you here. Um, I think that the way the world is today, uh, with globalization, the information era, the internet, uh, emerging democracies, uh, the change in terms of where people go to to live, diaspora communities all around, more and more we have to become partners. And um, as you know, many of our officers in LAPD have traveled uh, to the United Arab Emirates, the Middle East, uh, because when we do, we take on this, this position of being students. Um, I don't like to say that, that we're experts because um, I, think it, I think expert stands for ex-perpetrator. I'd rather say that we are students where we keep our glass half full and we learn from one another. Uh, today, policing is so complex. There's so many layers to it. Uh, we've gone from the era in American policing of this political era to the reform era to the professional era. And uh, arguably, we're in the community policing era. Some people are pushing this idea of uh, prediction, the prediction era of policing. But I don't think we could ever get away from the foundation that keeps us grounded with our communities. And that's the uh, community-based policing has to be the foundation for everything we do. Everything else is, is uh, enhanced by, by technology. But it's still a people, it's still a people business. Uh, it's a great honor for me to be uh, friends with uh, Dr. Mamdou abdul Matalab. I would like you to know that uh, this whole week, if there's anything we can do to make your stay more comfortable, uh, more enhanced, more educational, uh, please uh, feel free to ask any of us, ask me. Uh, I know we have some special uh, field trips uh, arranged for you. We have uh, some helicopter uh, tours that we can put you up in a helicopter uh, to get, give you a good uh, view of our, quote, critical infrastructure, but really a beautiful view of the city which amasses about 465 square miles. And I think what you'll find in this city is that uh, we are a city that has over 200 languages spoken, diasporas from all over the world. Uh, you can go from one mile to the next mile, and you can eat different ethnic foods, see ethnic communities, look at different fashion, hear different types of music, um, and it seems to work here. Uh, it's not to say we don't have our problems. And it's not to say we don't have our challenges. 
But I will say that uh, we've struggled to learn this. It wasn't the easy way. We've learned some hard lessons over the last 20 or 30 years. Um, you know, the 80s and the 90s were pretty rough for LAPD, uh, but I think we emerged better for it uh, because of some of the leadership and the guidance and, um, and the accountability that we've, that we've taken. Um, it, it hasn't always been kind of the golden era, but today, uh, just to give you an idea, our crime rates are that what they were in the 1950s. So 65 years ago, uh, we're experiencing the same level of crime today that we did 65 years ago. Our homicide rate, our murder rate, uh, in the 90s we would have uh, close to 1,200, 11-1,200 homicides in a year, in one year. And for the past three, four years, we've been under 300 homicides, which I believe is a, is a rate close to 19, you know, 1959 or something, close to that. So uh, we've learned some lessons. Uh, we're not experts. We don't claim to be experts. We claim to be students and professionals that want to share smart practices and also learn from you uh, in terms of what we do. So a very uh, welcome uh, to our city and we're going to take good care of you this week. So thank you very much. I would now like to introduce you to Dr. Mungu. He is the founder and executive chairman of the International Police Science Association. He was one of the first recipients of a doctoral degree in police sciences in the Arab world. And he was one of the first to call for professional police work as a career, not just a job. He has also led the effort to develop police education by establishing police colleges that specialize in police sciences. His deep commitment to police education is evidenced in his position as editor of the Journal of Police Thought, which is published by the UAE Sharjah Police, and champion of the International Police Science Association, a fine organization that has brought us here together today. Please welcome Dr. Mandel. Thank you. Morning, ladies and gentlemen. We are honored to have the chief Mike Lamy and all our guests welcome. My thanks go to the Los Angeles Police Department for supporting and joining us and to the city of Los Angeles Department, the uh, city of the Los Angeles for welcome to this conference. Los Angeles support is a testament to the commitment into international police work. We are Delighted to have you here to participate and chair in the first international police science conference. Thank you for coming. Many of travel long distance, which serves to remind us all just how important our work is. I am very pleased to be sure and to be here in Los Angeles for this global conference in peace quality and excellence. It's my pleasure to see partner and colleague from uh, different regions, from Egypt, from Libya, from uh, Libya, from Iraq, from Kuwait, from UAE, Sharjah, uh, Abu Dhabi and Abu Dhabi and Dubai, Italy and the United States. I have had uh, the privilege of visiting many countries which are speeding up international police. I have learned a lot from speaking to many personal attending symposium, conference, and beginning a part of different organized institutions representing the police. The aim of this conference is to share experience on what work is policing and what police is science, and how police science can increase the quality and excellence of the police work. Ladies and gentlemen, excellence in the police work is not a strategy. It must be a new style of thinking, a new style of police work. The conference can share experience of how countries has covered the international police target and the indicator to match their respective country, so we say they intelligence to We are 
all know, the police science is often an infrastructure that detonate the studies and research which directly or indirectly deal with the police work. Studies like researches in criminology, forensic science, sociology, community policing, criminal justice, and correction, and criminology all come under the umbrella term police science. It must include physical and social science. And this we need in itself for. We should in depth to deepen our understanding of what makes the international police science work so that we can build on the success factor beyond 2014. Prepare yourself to be challenged, excited, and inspired. Before I hand off to Ms. Osha to extra radio presentation, I want to say once more on behalf of our organization, Police Science Association, where we thank you and it's pleasure to see and it's a pleasure to see many of you are here. Thank you. The International Police Science Association would like to honor Deputy Chief Michael Downing. Could you please come to the podium, please? Police sciences are issues of a subjective nature, unique approaches, in-depth topics, and independent purposes. Its relation to other sciences does not detract from its independence or from the privacy of its individuality. The development of police sciences in all of its various specialties represents an urgent necessity, and this is for the aim of improving the performance level of police affairs meeting its requirements and strengthen the capability of its facilities to address all aspects of crime and delinquency in the framework of the legal context and without prejudice to the rights and freedom of individuals. For the aim of pushing the basic energies of society in the direction of prosperity, development and progress. Police science is often an ambiguous term that denotes the studies and research which directly or indirectly deal with police work. Studies and research in criminology, forensic science, psychology, jurisprudence, community policing, criminal justice, correctional administration, and penology all come under this umbrella term, police science. This thought has coincided with the invitation launched by Dr. Mamdou Abdelmotlep, professor of criminal justice and security expert, to establish an international association for the aim of rooting the police sciences and to be a platform for the police thought worldwide. It has been my goal of founding the International Police Science Association to develop the international scientific effort in the field of police science. I discovered through practicing that there are a vast difference between police science 
which was undefined and confused between experience and the sciences. Still developing in the Arab community, but these sciences are still unknown in the Arab world and in many countries around the world. Therefore, initial plan from 1998 and after almost 16 years, the idea of establishing an association was fulfilled and established in the year 2013. Early January 2014, the association obtained the category of the non-profit association under the section 501C3 in the state of New Jersey, USA. Dr. Mamdou founded the International Police Sciences Association, IPSA, a nonprofit association based in the state of New Jersey, USA. The main scope is development of the police works through the police sciences. The geographical range of the association is globally. It has performed the functions, undertake the competence, and achieves the objectives through a council appointed by the General Assembly. The association aims to achieve a number of objectives to improve the local, Arabian, and international scientific efforts in the field of developing the police sciences, to strengthen the channels of communication between the police thinkers and researchers in the various branches and fields of the police sciences and other sciences, in order to develop the exchange of thoughts and ideas, to develop the academic and applied expertise and experiences, urging the intellectuals in the police field and other areas of scientific knowledge, to establish a self-independent knowledge and to employ the sources of natural and human knowledge related to the police sciences in a manner leads to the integration of all its access. Studying the security phenomena through the use of various methods of scientific research in various police studies, developing the scientific personnel possessing specialized police expertise. To empower exchanging of experiences and ideas on the development of police science by holding conferences, meetings and lectures that also provide consultancy and encourage authoring of articles and book. To publish scientific police literature, research and periodical journal that will help and educate individual to understand police science. There are two categories of membership in the association which composed of individual and institutional. Membership Benefits International Recognition Professional Support and Protection Partaking in Research, Studies and Training Activity Engagement with Government Entities, Association and Other Institutions Printed Materials and Publication Participation in the Periodical Conferences and Seminars Deductibility of Annual Tax هناك العديد من الجمعيات التي تخدم العمل الشرطي على مستوى العالم وجمعية IPSA أيضا من الجمعيات التي بدأنا التعاون معها مؤخرا ونعتقد أن التعاون هذا سيفيد العمل الشرطي هناك أهمية كبيرة لتطوير العلوم الشرطية بمستوى على مستوى العالم رجل الشرطة يحتاج إلى أن يلم باختصاصات مثل القانون وعلم الاجتماع وعلم الإدارة وعلم النفس العديد من العلوم وربطها بمجال العمل The creation of uh, this uh, association is very important of, uh, to study uh, police study and related fields because there are many failure, failure for police around the world in the in practice of, uh, of law. The <laughs> لمعالجة الأمور الأمنية والدور اللي هي يعني بتتطلع إن هي تتبوأ في الفترة اللي جاية أنا واثق إن شاء الله بيكون لها مساهمات قوية جدا. Board of Directors. The Board of Directors consists of five members elected by the General Assembly from among its members. The regional board representatives are Dr. Mamdou Abdelmutlap, Professor of Criminal Justice and Legal Counselor, Sharjah Police, UAE, Founder and Executive Chairman, IPSA.
European region. Professor Saverio Fortunato, Presidente Instituto Italiano Criminologia, CSI Forensic United Nations Academic Impact Member. Asian region, Dr. Musayed Al Najjar, Brigadier Kuwait Police, Kuwait. African region, Dr. Mohammed Hanafi Mohammed, Head of Court Appeal, Dubai Court, UAE. IPSA Activities and Event The association organizes an annual international IPSA award in the police field. Each year the criteria and categories shall be determined by the committee. The IPSA International Award recognizes people and organization who have played an outstanding role in promoting the development of police work as a whole. All entries will be reviewed by the Electoral Award Committee with strict confidentiality and will create a shortlist on the basis of the nominations made in each category. The award proceedings or decision will be made in three steps, the nomination, the shortlisting, and the final decision. The winners will be announced at annual conference ceremony. IPSA Publications IPSA regularly participates in international conferences and dialogues related to police science and other police fields. I am welcome all to develop a strong partnership and understanding on police science work who are interested in in police science to join in the association that we will enable them to achieve our vision toward rooting the police science. Welcome to EPSA.
these things just didn't happen overnight. We have a lot of innovative thinkers that work for our agency now, from you know police officers all the way up to uh, you know our chief, and um, are bringing new ideas. And the organization is such that it's ready to accept those new ideas and try new things. That's really what brings about change. But the other thing is, over the course of many many years, we've also made a lot of mistakes, and um, we've always learned from our mistakes. So a lot of the programs that you see now are a result of us taking some lumps along the way. Um, you know, as you know, um, you know, policing in America kind of has gone through several different iterations. It started off hundreds of years ago with kind of this professional model that started in Boston and in the 1970s and 80s here in Los Angeles, we became very reactive because we were reacting to violence and crime. We chased the radio all the time, we chased crime numbers, and we had very little input from the community. Um, so what happened was, is we ended up kind of building up a wall between the community, and you start to begin like the efforts that you're that you were engaging in is from a law enforcement perspective, just are not having much payoff. We can't throw everybody in jail. That's not going to solve the problem. And so, you know, now fast forward to modern times, you know, everybody in this room is faced with um, problems that we didn't have uh, 20 years ago, or certainly here in Los Angeles. You know, we have terrorism. We have centralized terror organizations like Al-Qaeda, um, ISIL, which nine months ago nobody even heard of. So you can see how, how dynamic that whole situation is. We have state sponsored state sponsored terrorism, and then what we're really worried about now, of course, is the homegrown violent extremists. And um, that has a lot to do with the CBE programs that we're doing, reaching out to the communities and trying to engage communities to prevent people from becoming radicalized here in the United States. But the other issue we're facing that's different 20 years ago is how we look at crime. Uh, we're being less, um, reactive and more proactive. Um, now we're playing around with, as you know, you know, predictive policing and putting officers where we think crime is going to happen based upon a bunch of factors rather than chasing dots where crime has already happened and that's having a payoff. That's going to be really the future of law enforcement is using technology and you know academic research and things like that to impact, I believe, terrorism and crime and the, uh, quality of life issues before they actually happen. Um, and of course, um, you know, community engagement is something that's much different than it was 20 years ago. Uh, Luann was talking about training, and you know, 20 years ago we had an incident that we call the Rodney King incident, and we were all forced to go to training, cultural sensitivity training. Um, all nine, eight thousand of us had to go to the training. But what really changed the organization is, um, I believe that. The organization itself changed, and that's why we're a lot different than we are now. Um, the officers that are coming on now, and, and a lot of the command staff that we have now, um, are more engaged with the community. We've made the community much more a part of what we are doing, and you can see that in the way that we handle our gang problems. Um, we talked a little bit about intervention and having gang interventions go in and, and find out what's going on in the gang while the police department does suppression. Um, we're affecting. Um, communication with the community and how to solve crimes and um, you know more importantly now which is coming out of our bureau we're engaging communities in how to help prevent the homegrown violent extremists so I hope that you know what you've seen in the last couple of days is going to help you out in your endeavors I certainly know that you know as I sit here and I talked to some of you at dinner last night that there are a lot of things that I think we can learn from here in Los Angeles which is why I think these conferences are so important because, you know, the world is a very small place now with the internet and things like that. And the more that we can exchange best practices um, throughout, you know, the thousands of miles that separate us, the better off we're going to be in affecting those things that I just mentioned. So, again, I, you know, I, I am I'll congratulate you on the success of your conference, and hopefully we can join you here next one next year. Okay, I'd like to invite uh, Commander Chow to the uh, this area, please, and uh, Dr. Nandu to present uh, certificates and awards, uh, IFSA awards for the uh, for the conference. Please, uh, when you hear your name, come to the banner here so we can take photos.
um, Dr. Zaid, Ali Zaid. Major Talal Hassan Beg. <laughs> Major Ali Abdullah Abdul. Then Colonel Abdullah Rahim Sheikh Lastly, our uh, photographer here, Tammy Kokesh. Thank you, Tammy. And now we'll, uh, we'll be handing out awards for the, the S International Awards. <laughs> we have the uh, EFSA International Awards for the category. Uh, the first one we had police practice and the community relation, and the winner is Abu Zabi Police.
and you also for the second category, police research and development, the winner is Shasha Police Research. Um, we would like to uh, give an award to uh, Commander Chow for his. Uh, I didn't do anything. I know. <laughs> no, he did a lot. Thank you. 